he would be the worst person to go out with. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe girls are attracted to a typical bad boy, maybe, mm. but I don't think he knows what he wants. And I think it's a good lesson when everyone's watching. Yeah, definitely. To just avoid those types. Um, yep, to treat a girl right. Hayley, have you ever read The Brief History of Time by Professor Stephen Hawking? Oh, <laughs> a Brief History of Time. Is that history? It's a study into black holes. Uh, oh, no, Stephen I'm not Hawking. interested in no. that. Sorry. Do you know Pythagoras' theorem to the nearest five no. decimal places? Do you? What's your favourite colour? Do you? Colour. Colour. Do you know um, the, the red. Pythagoras theorem to the nearest actually, yeah. five decimal 3.147 is certainly the first four digits. So, <laughs> 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 oh, no, that's Pythagoras pie. uh, uh, theorem. Uh, uh, it's pie. It's pie. It's pie. pie. It's pie. It's pie. That's pie, not Pythagoras' <laughs> theorem. You knew that, didn't you, Hayley? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just showed yourself up, yeah, that Piers was... Morgan, on national oh, television. Man, yeah. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, you know what's people. happened to me? I've just been mugged off, haven't I? You've yeah. been mugged off. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've been pied off. You've been pied off. You've been pied, 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 pied off. <laughs> so where will you be marching this in the next two days? I'll be marching in Westminster tomorrow alongside thousands of other people who found the policy of board separations mm -hmm. unconscionable. Yep. You think that the sight of our elected Prime Minister holding Donald Trump's hand is an utter embarrassment. Did you find Obama deporting wished... three million people unconscionable? You yes. spit up many families. Yes, I did. Was... And that's why and that's why I Where also... was your protest and march against I... that and... when he came to and the country? And that's why I also protest. If you protest... feel so strongly and about that's why it, I also Ash, protest where was your protest march against Obama? In this country if you found as that well. unconscionable too, you do where not was the march? Have to go out and march. It's Double against standards. everything in order to make a point about one thing. No, if you find them both unconscionable no, and it's the same issue, you have here's, to march twice, don't you? I would actually encourage you to maybe check out some of the other work that I've done where I've been intensely... Tell you what I do, Ash. I go and check out some basic facts about your hero, Obama... He's not my hero! I'm how a heroic he comes idiot. Across. <laughs> but you didn't plan any protests against him, did you? <laughs> Ash, Zero protests against Jesus. Obama. Jesus! You have every right to protest. Thanks, Every right Lisa. to protest. Just, just get it in perspective. There were none against Obama. There were none against Vladimir Have Putin. Why didn't you go out and march against Obama Charity then if you're so keen to manning your guests against him. To make up for your own incompetence as a journalist? Sorry, sorry. You I... didn't hold Trump adequately to account when you interviewed yes, him. I did. You didn't think that climate I, change actually, was I held important Trump, enough to bring up. I held Trump you'd ask very well to account on a team. number of issues. It's embarrassing. Well, it may be and embarrassing. And instead, what you've done, instead, what you've you, done, Ash, but actually, is actually, your man's your guest. What I try and do, what I try and do, and with, you've deflected yes, from the you. actual what argument I try and at do, hand. What I try and do is be fair about Trump. What you do and to no one is else. be relentlessly anti-Trump and relentlessly pro somebody like Obama. I'm not pro Obama. I've been a critic of Obama. I'm a critic of the it Democratic Party because I'm literally a communist. <laughs> <laughs> so why am I off the rails, Mr. Shapiro? Uh, you know, honestly, Pierce, you've kind of been a bully on this issue because what you do, and I've seen it repeatedly on your show, I watch your show, um, and I've seen it repeatedly, what you tend to do is you tend to demonize people who differ from you politically by standing on the graves of the children of Sandy Hook, saying they don't seem to care enough about the dead kids. If they cared more about the dead kids, they would agree with you on policy. I think we can have a rational political conversation about balancing rights and risks and rewards of all of these different policies, but I don't think that what we need to do is demonize people on the other side as, as being unfeeling about, the, about what happened in How Sandy Hook. How dare you accuse me of standing on the graves of the children that died there? How dare you? I've seen you do it repeatedly, Pierce. Like I say, how dare you? Well, I mean, you can keep saying that, but you've done it repeatedly. What you do, and I've seen you do it on, on the program, is you keep saying to folks that if they disagree with you politically, then somehow this is a violation of, of what happened in Sandy Hook. And you have yet, I, I, I really like to hear your policy prescriptions for what we should do about guns. Because you say that you respect the Second Amendment, and you yeah. know, I brought this here for you so that you can read it. It's the Constitution. And I, I would really like for you to explain to me what you would do about guns that would have prevented what happened in Sandy Hook. If you want to do what you did in the UK, right, which is ban virtually all guns, that is at least a fair argument. And we can have a discussion about whether that's something that we ought to do well, or I've not. I've made it very clear what I want to do, which is exactly what Mark Kelly wants to do. And in fact, rather than address, okay, so your, let's talk about that. Rather than address your comments to me about uh, standing on the graves of children at Sandy Hook, you can address them to Mark Kelly because he agrees with everything that I've been saying, because he feels the same way as does his wife. They're gun owners. They both respect the Second Amendment of the Constitution. They don't want to take away anybody's right to defend themselves with guns. They well, they want to take away certain types of guns, obviously. They want to take away assault weapons, which are capable with magazines like we saw at Aurora and Sandy Hook, of unleashing 
uh, a ridiculous amount of Well, this is a, a question I wanted to time. ask you, Pierce, because I've, I've seen you talk about assault weapons a lot, and I've seen Mark Kelly talk about assault weapons. Mm. The vast majority of murders in this country that are committed with mm. guns are not committed with assault weapons. They're committed with handguns. Okay, so are you willing to ban handguns in no, this country across no, the country? No, that's not what I'm asking for. Why not? Let me ask you. Don't you care about the kids who are being killed in Chicago as much as the kids in Sandy Hook? Yes, I do. Then why don't you care about, about banning the handguns in Chicago? Let, we'll come to that. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What was the weapon used at Aurora in the movie theatre? It, yeah, it, was, it was an assault rifle, sure. Okay. What was the weapon used in the Oregon shopping mall? Uh, I believe it was an assault rifle, correct? Okay. What was the weapon used at Sandy Hook? It was an assault rifle. What was the weapon used at the incident around Christmas when the firemen were lured to, lured to their deaths, the New York State firemen? And bought illegally? That was, a, that was, a, that was an assault rifle. Right. So the last four mass shootings in America were all the assault rifles. And the vast, See, vast, that, vast... That is the reason, well, Mr Shapiro... And you can smirk at me, and you can laugh at I'm me. I'm not smirking. And you can accuse me of standing on the graves of dead children. And being a bully, yes. But that is the reason that people like me and Mark Kelly and Gabrielle Giffords want to have assault weapons like that removed from civilian hands. Your passion that on the, the issue point. doesn't really justify the, the rationale for why you want to ban assault weapons, you but not handguns. You understand why we want to remove the preferred weapon of choice uh, these killing machines well, I would like from you the hands of deranged young men. All I'm asking is for you to be philosophically consistent. If what you're worried about is the removal of killing machines from the hands of mm. deranged young people, then maybe we should talk about a blanket gun ban. And let's get to what the left really wants here. And, the, you know, you say that you're for Why the Second Why is it about Amendment. left or right? Because in Britain, this never is about left or right, this issue. Why is it here? Well, you know, we can talk about Britain in a second. I think the reason that it's about left and right here is because fundamentally, the right believes that the, the basis for the Second Amendment, and they believe in the Second Amendment, the basis for the Second Amendment is not really about self-defense and it's not about hunting. It is about resistance to government tyranny. That's what the founders said and that's what the right believes in this country. Which tyranny are you fearing yourself? Uh, I fear the possibility of a tyranny rising in this country in the next 50 to 100 years. Let me tell you something, Pierce. The fact that my grandparents and great-grandparents in Europe didn't fear that is why they are now ashes in Europe. Why is she listening to that old man? A clip from This Means War, but it Reese with a spoon and back, of course, with Chelsea Handler, clearly displaying her incredible acting chops there. Well, I didn't write that, obviously. <laughs> Just a little joke. You're so funny sometimes. Do you think you're, like, good... you're so funny sometimes I forget to laugh. <laughs> Are you a good actress? Uh, I'm not a bad actress. I can act like myself. Mm. That's, better than, that's better than I can say for um, some people. But no, I wouldn't <laughs> call myself an actress. I'm not an actress actress. What I don't you... know if I could do some big character arc. What is the big ambition for you now? You've um, conquered a lot, very young. Uh, well, I don't know, just to kind of coast, rest on my laurels, and just see what uh, comes around the corner. I don't... Could I ask this one last question? Uh, the people who said during the campaign that Hillary Clinton was the lesser of two evils, could we get the apology right now? <laughs> yeah. Why? 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 As if... Are you serious? I'm serious, yeah. Like Hillary Clinton would have a cabinet with Betsy DeVos <laughs> and, and fucking Rick Perry? <laughs> I... She wouldn't have a Muslim ban. They, they, they wouldn't have a Muslim ban. They wouldn't be feuding with everybody in the world. They wouldn't be They wouldn't be doing this shit Bill. with Bill. Russia. But, Are you crazy? But, but you hug calm Putin. down, Bill. There is no Muslim ban. If there was, oh, 80... fuck oh, off. Sorry, why don't we... Fuck off. Oh, okay. It's a fucking Muslim ban. Okay. He said there was a Muslim ban. This is the point. The Muslim this is a talk about the hysteria. I'm talking about 85% of the world's Muslims are allowed into the country. This is what, you do. This is, this is what you do, Pierce. You say, <sighs> he hasn't done this, he hasn't done that, he's not going to do all these things. Give him a fucking chance, mate. And you know what I mean? Why not? Hitler didn't kill the Jews on the first day. He worked up to it. Mate. That, that, see, I have to stop you. That, that is the exact, that is the exact ridiculous, hysterical, over-the-top nonsense. If people that is, got I'm afraid, hysterical in Germany like you, right away, then it wouldn't have. He's not the new Hitler. Hitler. You just like, you just like that you won the Apprentice and you have a famous friend, mate. That's all you fucking like. Right, mate, can mate, I say one thing? I know what you, that's all you listen, like. Listen, that's losing, all you you're like. You're losing your audience. You know I'm not right? losing my because audience. Because you're sounding unpleasant. Am I and you're also it? not basically... <laughs> You tweet very amusingly. I wish you did. <laughs> I mean, in the middle of the commercial break, I want your viewers to know. You, I mean, they must know because they're probably following you on Twitter. I mean, you can't even pay attention for 60 seconds. You're a terrible interviewer. Well, you just weren't 
keeping my attention. That's well, more but an issue I, that's for you not than my me. problem. You're, well, it is your problem. This is your show. You have to pay attention to the guests that you invited on if your show. If they interesting enough. Yeah, they are. Listen, it doesn't matter how interesting I am. You signed up for this job. Of course it job. does. Well, maybe that's why your job is coming to an end. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Don't want to cross you, do we? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? I quite like to cross you. I like you when you're being nasty. Uh, now, you were tweeting this during the Oscars. It's very funny. So, congratulations, 12 Years a Slave. Go to Africa or buy Uganda. Be kidding me. Ahead of the curve, Oscars. You then added, if Angelina Jolie just filed adoption papers, Lupita Nyong'o. You got into trouble for this. I get into trouble all the time. I mean, people, I'm a comedian. I... I, I laughed. I thought they were funny. But you people, don't have to laugh. You don't have to like it. People but that's... try to claim you were being racist, but you weren't. You, clearly, the one thing you're not in live is a racist. Yeah, I'm not. I can't take those claims seriously because that's very far from the truth. If I got really upset about it, then there might be some truth to it. What's the moment if I said to you, I can give you one moment back in your life to repeat right now? What would you choose? It would be spending this hour differently. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you try and be nice? Uh, uh, I wouldn't take. I don't have regrets. I don't live my life like that. I mean, you know, you pick, you fall down, you pick yourself up, you move forward, and just try to be a really good, smart person. I like to fill my brain up with new information. That's it. I mean, I don't look back and go, I wish I did that. I wish I didn't do that. I'm kind of. Yeah, but what's been the greatest moment that you've had? I have great moments a lot. I'm really lucky. I have a great career. I don't want to bore you with real genuineness because I know that that, that then you'll start to go online. So I can't really even answer any of your uh, <laughs> questions with any sort of earnestness. Is to personalize the pie. If you're going to throw it at someone in particular, yeah. you might want to add a letter. <laughs> and because this pie is for all those men that wear papooses. Oh! <laughs> That's for the guys. And we're papooses. All right. It's for Russ Kemp and for Daniel Craig. God, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's now this is milk. This is called milking. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. What's happened? I am so sorry. <laughs> anyway, so... the tour starts <laughs> in Oxford on Sunday at the Oxford New Theatre. <laughs> You can't beat it. I'll be back in two and a half weeks if Thank we're not, goodness, I if get we're a not break. taking it off air. If that's not interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, Daddy, no. <laughs> You've got to finish what you started. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Well, it's oh, time for the rain. I'm getting out of here.